Hello, welcome to Little Hollow Homestead. Uh, we had a little bit of a snowfall this afternoon. I'm just down here in the hollow checking on the chickens and fixing their perch and kind of had a, a shock. Looked down the hollow and found this sad sight. Got one of our neighborhood deer that was probably hit on the road, but man, he is a nice buck. Seems like he's he's been here for quite a while because there's still some snow on him from this afternoon's snowstorm. He does have some injuries, it looks like. But unfortunately, that is a sad loss, sad waste of a beautiful animal. Um, not only the animal, but I don't know, maybe the meat's not salvageable or not. Anyway. I'm going to uh, call the DWR, the Division of Wildlife Resources, let them come investigate. Um, it'd be nice if I could uh, keep the antlers. They're, they're, like I said, it's a beautiful buck. But we'll see. We'll keep you posted when they get here and what they find with their investigation. So Division of Wildlife has been called. They're going to come out uh, tomorrow. Uh, I guess it's quitting time for them today. It's going to be well below zero, so... It's not gonna stink too bad. Uh, let me show you the reason I was down on the hollow fixing the chicken coop. I, I think I may have solved part of the mystery of this dead deer. So one thing, this piece of uh, drip irrigation is all the way down here and it used to be right up here with the rest of my stuff. So that is not where it was. And then I came down to check on the chickens. I've already fixed the damage, but this whole side of the chicken coop was just bent over. That T post was laying at a 45. My uh, my perch that I had there, uh, it used to have wooden poles supporting it. Now you can see I've got those black metal ones supporting it. Um, they were broken off. So I, I had no idea what happened. I just came down and replaced those and put the perch back up and then put that other pipe on the inside of that T-post to shore up the, uh, the, the cattle panel a little bit. So my theory is it probably got hit up on the road. Probably got hit up here somewhere on the road, wandered down. I really don't see any blood, but it's hard to tell because of the recent snowfall. I think he wandered down here, staggered against my coop, bent that in, and staggered down. Somehow hooked part of that piping and drug it down. To here and that's where that's laying there's also a bunch of rocks displaced from up on the hill or, or somewhere I don't know where they came from but then that's where he wound up right there so probably just internal injuries I, I'm guessing we'll know more tomorrow when the uh, fish and game come out and actually uh, see what happened. Like I say, hopefully they'll let me take the horns, or antlers rather. Beautiful deer, and, and he, I've been watching him all fall. In fact, I've got video on another um, post of him up in the oak brush above my home, probably just three days ago. So yeah, sad ending to a beautiful animal. Anyway, we'll uh, join you for the conclusion hopefully tomorrow. The deer that was hit and killed and died down in my hollow was picked up yesterday by the DWR. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't here to capture it on video. Evidently, the animals um, are owned by the state, so the chances of me getting those antlers were pretty slim anyway. But it would have been nice. I, you know, maybe he would have been a nice guy and let me harvest them. Hopefully, they uh, put them to use, hang them on a wall somewhere in their office or somewhere. But anyway, the saga of the... Uh, 
nice mule deer that uh, was hit and killed in my hollow is over and uh, may he rest in peace I guess if you like what you see subscribe give me a thumbs up sure appreciate it we'll catch you next time see ya Thank you.